One more should be done. Yeah. Uh, Hi, sir. One more. Hi, Darshan. Hi. So, Sashi and Darshan, uh, you are into development or? Uh, so basically, I'm 3D, 3D designer. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Aditya. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Aditya. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, sir, I'll briefly introduce all of these guys. Yeah, sir. Uh, I am Shashi. I'll, I'm the team lead in Zero Distance right now. Yeah. Uh, I am into uh, React. Uh, web development. Uh, currently, uh, me, I am starting Unreal development. Okay. Uh, basically, I am trying to, you know, go more in terms of blueprints and the C++ programming aspect of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, 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 this is Aditya. Even Aditya, he is a uh, junior developer in the company. Okay. Uh, we are, uh, Aditya is also trying to do the same stream which I mentioned just now. Uh, we both are complete starters for Unreal. Yeah. Coming to Darshan, Darshan is a, a 3D developer. Uh, he has more expertise in terms of uh, creating models and uh, textures and making them such kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be another guy, Mani, who will be uh, joining. I think he will be joining in further session. Okay. Uh, he is also similar to Darshan. Uh, he, they, they, these guys are more into 3D, Darshan and Mani. Okay. Uh, we are more into development part of it. Okay. That's the reason. Uh, so, Darshan, have you uh, ever tried importing anything or you are totally new to the Unreal Engine? No, sir. I have basic knowledge. Okay. Basically, I have, I have done one project in Unreal. Basically. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, so, because these classes will be all about like, uh, we'll be starting from zero. So, you have to bear with me for some time <laughs> because the uh, other has to also go through that. And uh, uh, these classes will be going like uh, live classes where uh, you need to install Unreal Engine uh, in your system. So whatever I will be doing, I will be just giving you some time to do uh, that particular work. Uh, and if you have any doubt, you can clear it by there and there. Sure, sir. Sure. Fine? Yeah. Uh, Sashi, Aditya? Yeah, fine. fine. Yes. Uh, so today's uh, session will be on the introduction of, uh, so you know what is the course content uh, all about, right? So what all the course I already shared in the classroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sir, yeah. So we, we have saw. gone through that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we have gone through that, yeah. yeah. So this will be our classroom, uh, so I will be sharing all uh, whatever the materials and whatever the assignments uh, are there, I will be just uploading inside this classroom so you can uh, go through that and there will be a lot of uh, uh, video, whatever the recording I will be doing, I will be uploading also inside this particular classroom, okay. So yeah, so we will be starting with uh, this is the this is the like just a foundation uh, of Unreal Engine. So it'll be it will be go for 15 hours. Uh, so like every day one hour. Uh, sometime I might give you break for uh, doing some of the work because uh, if you do only then only it will be uh, useful for this whole sessions. Uh, so I'll be just giving some time. So I'll just take some two classes and I'll just use some time for you also to work on it. Uh, on this particular project so it will be much easy so you will learn much faster okay sure sir yeah so yeah so we'll be starting with this uh, Unreal uh, Engine so uh, this is uh, a good product for uh, doing uh, most of the people will think that it is only for uh, doing the gaming uh, but it is nowadays has been everywhere so if you see Unreal Engine it is for uh, we use for virtual production we use for AR, uh, VR and all the places it is there, right? So if I just go through that, so these are the different uh, places where Unreal Engine is used nowadays. You can just see that a uh, games architectural thing. Uh, if you go for games, 
the quality of the gaming has been improved a lot from uh, previous days right when you used to play like uh, low poly games so it was a uh, very low poly model we used to do it and uh, we used to create and we used to play inside that but nowadays the quality of the gaming is uh, yeah. much more uh, realistic way you can see the character de details inside it all these details uh, it is not possible in some kind of different engines uh, so unreal has come up with really nice uh, kind of uh, tools which optimizes and also we are able to put inside the game uh, over there nowadays so uh, yeah even for the architectural so if you are doing some kind of architectural uh, walk throughs or something so this is also nowadays very useful uh, where you can create a uh, ar or vr virtual reality and you can go into that particular uh, architectural uh, things or that. so like this we have different types of uh, projects which you can uh, get into this so for film and television uh, we see that nowadays it is virtual production where we can directly uh, put uh, the background inside uh, unreal uh, engine okay so if i just see this virtual production uh, also and nowadays broadcast uh, animation films and television everywhere it is used now even for automotive things uh, we are using uh, even for some kind of simulation purpose also we are using this unreal engine so these are the new things which are there uh, more uses of unreal engine is virtual production human machine uh, interface uh, extended reality so it will be like real time uh, simulation what we can see it uh, so mostly we would have seen that this is like uh, for study purpose or anything we can uh, make the use of this unreal engine uh, where you can uh, see that so inside like for uh, i think in uh, some of this places it is uh, chennai or some place they started actually inside the schools only they are started teaching all this uh, through uh, uh, vr okay so they are learning everything like physics concepts and biology concept everything uh, they can see the model uh, in front of them and uh, it is much easy for them to understand this whole process uh, because previous days we used to read through books and now it is much more easy for uh, them to understand all this uh, things over it okay yeah. so yeah so because uh, it is much live whatever we we can just see feel that particular thing in in front of your eyes and it is much easy right so yes. yeah so this is what we have uh, inside this unreal engine so uh, there is lot of things over here uh, if you just go to this website unreal.com uh, okay. here you will find this particular product of unreal engine so this is what we have and uh, unreal engine 5 is that one is there and here we have something which are really nice uh, if you want to uh, see that meta human uh, twin motion uh, bridge by quicksell so this is where we can get some kind of most of the thing like realistic content if you want like scan data of particular object and all we can find it over here inside this quicksell twin motion okay. is used uh, mostly for uh, 3d visualization so this is also there inside this so uh, if you want so once you install this unreal engine uh, you will be able to uh, get this uh, product also you can install this product also and you, you can interlink between if you want to get some character from meta human uh, some kind of realistic character you can also uh, put that inside this unreal engine so if you just go to this product which is really nice uh, you can create very realistic uh, kind of uh, characters over here so if you just launch the app and you, you can tweak lot of things inside it uh, and it is like web based so uh, if you want to see this so can just see that so how realistic way it can be uh, created over here so if i just want to do use this yeah. it will start the session okay. so very realistic characters and you you can change between you can create your own characters by mixing uh, all that uh, inside this particular thing okay so meta human is one uh, thing for very realistic characters which you can use it uh, inside this okay and there is some kind of uh, hardware specification uh, which you need to know about over here so windows 10 a uh, minimum this is the minimum uh, thing you require uh, but when you are doing for little bit of higher uh, thing like if you are doing some kind of simulation or something uh, you might require uh, 64 gb ram 
if you are doing for virtual uh, this thing right so uh, virtual production you might need little bit of more ram and uh, graphic card uh, rtx uh, 3060 which is the latest thing which you can use it uh, that is much costly uh, compared to this uh, system itself now it is okay yes yeah. so yeah. that that graphic card because it will do the real time simulation and all these things for us so we require that kind of uh, system but for learning purpose if you are not inside the production and you want to learn this uh, thing it is much uh, we can use this system itself for learning uh, sake but when you want to produce some kind of output and all at that time we can just uh, use little bit of higher end uh, system sort of Uh, so yes. this is what we have. So uh, you can just see this. This is what the meta human is all about. So if I just uh, go for you want to create something, uh, you can create it quickly over here. Okay. Uh, see that. So there will be some kind of uh, faces which are already available over here. So if you want to tweak that, you can tweak it. Uh, you can change uh, what all the facial features you want for that. Uh, suppose this is what we want over here. It is loading the textures and all this. So yeah. if I just hold Alt and left click on the on my keyboard, I can just tweak and check that over here uh, how this particular uh, thing is over here. So if you want to use that, create selected, you can just click on that, and uh, now you can do whatever the changes you want uh, for that. So if you want to blend two faces over here, or you want to change the eyes, click on the eyes, and you can just click. on the presets whichever you want to change it over there so once you click on that it will try to change the eye color yeah it is changing all this eye color different eye colors teeth you want to change for that or you want to blend between two two or three faces so it is such a easy uh, task which you can just drag and drop over here this over here so three uh, different faces you want to mix and match okay so Okay. Yeah. So I just drag these three faces over here, and now we can just try tweaking that. Suppose if I click it over here, what kind of eyebrows I want? Suppose for this face you want this. So the three faces I am trying to blend over here. So how the forehead should be? If the forehead of this should be for this kind of person, I can just click it over here. I can oh. change that. So, if you want the lips of this uh, character uh, with the uh, this character, so you can change that. If you want eyes to be changed for whichever the character you want, you can say this. So, this is like Chinese eyes you want to add uh, on the face, so it is okay. So, it will change the shape of the eye, whatever this character is having. So, any of these features, uh, suppose if you want to change the chin over here, so you can just go and try checking the chin. for that particular okay yes so this is okay. very uh, now see the ears so everything you can modify by having this three different faces over there uh, or here so if you want still you want to add you can still add it over here more of the faces and uh, if you want to check this animation over here so you just play that and you will be able to see the animation as well over So it is real time. Everything is real time, and it is on the web, uh, which you can see it over here. Okay, so this is all about this uh, meta human. So we can create any kind of this uh, over here. Suppose if you want to change this body proportions, or you want to change the eye, head you want to change, you want to change the hairstyle for that. Everything is over here. So if I just click on this hairstyle. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So it's uh, so everything is uh, much easy over here to do it. So if you want to add some kind of makeup, uh, everything is here. Uh, so you just need to click on that. You need to play around with this uh, things, and uh, your character will be there for that. So if you so if you want to change the body proportions of that, so here we can say. Yes. Okay. So I can change if you want to make it little bit of fat character uh, for that, or you want very slim character. You just click on that and it changes to that uh, character's proportion. And here the detail quality will be there. So at present it is medium. So you can also go for high ray traced, epic ray traced. So this will give more quality output uh, for your uh, work. 
so whatever you want to export you can export with this icon okay so this is all about this meta creator so you can it is not that difficult if you just go inside that you can just uh, go through all this uh, settings that is everything is ready made and you just need to tweak little bit over here so even the skin texture you want to change so this so if you want to make it like old uh, kind of features on our face uh, i adjust the skin texture over here and it gives me different facial features of so this so it is like old uh, character you want to add on the top of this okay so a lot of things we can do are uh, using this meta creator so yeah so i'll just leave that and we'll just come back to our unreal uh, engine so you need to download first uh, this unreal engine uh, for your uh, system so go to the product click on this unreal engine file okay so if you are also uh, on the pc if you want to try and download that also it will be uh, good because uh, it is like around 5 uh, 9 gb something or okay yes so yes. Uh, here you can just click on this download now option so as soon as you click on this download now option over here so first thing what you need to download is here is download launcher so this is what you need to first download so once you click on this download launcher it will download a small file for you this is what epic installer will be downloaded okay and then you double click on this uh so uh when you double click on this it will open uh this launcher so once you install that you can just open this launcher now so once you click on this open launcher so this is what it will be there so uh first thing you need to sign in to this particular uh thing over here suppose if i just sign out so as soon as you download uh this is the page which will open over here okay okay so and um, like next you have to do it over here is you need to sign in to that epic games so you can uh, sign up for that or you can also if you want to sign up through your uh, google you can sign in there so i have this already account so you can sign up inside this and i'll just uh, log in now so once you sign up you can just log in okay so as soon as i log in uh, inside this uh, particular epic launcher so here uh, you, you can find there is something called download option so you, you can have this downloads option uh, is over here so if i just go to the stores uh, here we have the library and here we have this unreal uh, engine so if i just click on this unreal engine uh so here uh, once you, if you have downloaded uh, that software over here right so once you have uh, get that you you need to install that unreal engine uh, versions over here so you can just see that i have i am already installed this two versions of unreal and uh, i have this 4.27 and 5.03 is the latest version of this unreal okay so okay. Uh, what will be doing it over here is once you install that and i can just come down and here uh, we can just see that there are different uh, reference for that and there is certain committee uh, communities also there where you can start learning uh, more so if you want to go for some kind of more advanced things there is lot of support also from the unreal uh, engine or here so you can just see this. okay yeah. so here also once you go to this page uh, there is also option or here you can just see that how we can just install uh, there is one some videos are, are also there so if you want to check that uh, you can just check that over here so this is what we have on on the right side on the top you can just see there is something called download yes sir okay so that is where you can just see that so once open launcher is there you just start uh, installing this uh, unreal 5 for that so uh, if you have the system can you start uh, downloading that particular uh, thing if it is not installed Yes, sir. 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 Y
so once you have installed that now once i open this uh, right so if you just click on this launcher uh, so there is yeah. something called launch so we can launch whatever this version which you have it over here so before launching there are a lot of things uh, inside this so there are certain samples uh, which has been uh, provided by this unreal uh, people over here so there are some sample games if you want to uh, just load it download it and want to play around any of these games so here is already are these are some of the free sample games which are available so you can just try that thing and there are some kind of resources also so if you uh, want to go to this marketplace so there is something called marketplace over here yeah uh, where you can find lot of uh, free resources or assets for your uh, project so if you are working on some of the project and you, and you don't have time to do the model uh, or something so you can also use some kind of assets over here so some of them are paid uh, suppose if you want to create this kind of uh, thing over here so and this is like sometime it is zero now it was 1000 yeah. rupees now it is zero so you can download this assets and you can start using on your projects uh, and there are a lot of free contents also so if i just go to this free content uh, permanently free collections are there so you need to keep on checking that what all the free contents are there and you can start downloading and keeping it so uh see whenever you want to use that particular assets you can use it over uh so if i just come down uh, here inside this free uh, so there is some kind of mega scan uh, assets are also there so this is like very uh, high quality scans uh, which you can download and load it for your any kind of unreal project so you can just see this so there is some kind of chop woods and all this if you want to use some kind of material collections so here you have some kind of materials also uh, for uh, your project and foliage yes. uh, you have this foliage scans and everything so whatever the things you want to use it uh, you can just use it uh, for your particular projects and we can just see that so sure. there are like lot of people are there who don't know modeling or something they can also use this assets and they can quickly create uh, a good scene out of it like Uh, if you are a director or something and you don't know anything about modeling you don't have to learn about anything about modeling so everything is available over here so you can create uh, some kind of uh, movie shots or scene by just having this free assets inside this unreal engine uh, we can do nice lighting and all the uh, stuff over there so okay. this is what we have and it will be like free collection so you can just permanently free collection so this you can download at any time uh like this uh, if you want to have some kind of uh, particle effects or free uh, effects are there or you yeah. want to get this so you can you can see this there is procedural uh, building creator so you can generate uh, any kind of buildings if you want to create some kind of environment like buildings and all you can just take from this uh, particular thing uh, there is lot of architectural uh, thing is there so if you want to create some kind of uh, jungle environment or uh, so here you have landscape uh, pro 2.0 so it will automatically generate some kind of uh, this kind of landscape environment for you and yeah so here we have we can make our work much faster by having this kind of assets so uh, if you can collect all of this asset and keep it so we don't know what project you might require what kind of assets so you can just drag and drop from this uh, project to another project or so yeah even here uh, if i just go for epic game contents here also so these are all free so we can just use it for any of this uh, projects so some of this characters are also free yeah okay so this uh, suppose if you want to uh, you are interested only in lighting and you want to check about the lighting how it works inside unreal so you have this twin motion uh, project so most of the things is for architecture so so it is having all this uh, either for unreal engine or twin motion where you can use it uh, this projects and we can just start working on uh, yes. so for uh, here so even for this unreal 5 uh, we can also see there is a uh, lot of contents for uh, materials you want to have you want to have want some kind of music uh, you have that content also available so if you want to see some kind of blueprints uh, for your game so you can also check for some kind of blueprints which are available over here uh, uh, so you can study that particular game how it is made uh, what all the things has been done inside that 
so you can always have this kind of uh, study uh, things over here so you can just see this all this are there and if i just go to this uv online learning so even this uh, they are giving like everything is for free so uh, it is like unreal online learning so if i just go to that and there are some kind of uh, lessons for it so if you want to learn something right uh, something extra more advanced things so here yeah. you can just find a lot of uh, things are there so you can just see that how to do the post processing and uh, you can search for whatever the things you want inside this uh, site and you, you get all this uh, for free so there is like this uh, thing is like everything is free so how to create and everything is shown inside this so there is there is having lot of uh, resource over here so you can just go through this marketplace and you can find all this uh, resources so 2d assets and uh, any kind of uh, things you want to start your project and if you want to sell something of your own whatever you have created you can also uh, give it for sale so if you have created some kind of your product uh, or some kind of assets uh, for gaming and you want to upload it over here and you want to give some kind of price for that you, you can always upload once you log in over here you can submit your content also or upload it uh, for sale so if you want to sell uh, so if you have done some kind of uh, uh, game models and you feel that you want to sell that you can always go to that uh, site and it, okay so it is something is discontinued for this particular thing now yeah so this is what we yeah. have and here also so if i just go to the learn uh, here also we have for this so if i just go for learning resources and here you have a lot of resources for learning so there is something called documentation uh if i just go to this documentation where we can find everything about unreal so how to install uh so if i just go for this particular understanding basics over here okay so this is the place where you can find it out the step by step how we can install certain uh, unreal uh, engine over here and we can just check it inside yes okay so yeah. download and real engine and uh, how to create an uh, epic account over here so you need to sign up and then you need to start installing the unreal so it is step by step over here so uh, after installing uh, what you have to do it inside this yes okay so everything is available uh, inside this documentation so if you go for unreal uh, you can see the documentation over there and uh, you can just download that over here so after you install it right so once you install Uh, Unreal Engine in your system, so you can just see that there are certain uh, things which you can uh, see it over here. There is certain thing called projects, uh, yes, games, uh, film and video. So what you want to create? So if you are want to create, uh, these are the templates of the project. So if you want to create something about automatic, automated product design or manufacturing, or if you want to create something for architectural, so you can choose that particular project over here. So if I just go to the games. here we can see so there are certain uh, already templates over here so if you want to start with blank uh, you can start with blank project or uh, here you can just see that there is option uh, so how you want to create that particular project uh, whether you are if you are a coder if you are like c++ and you want to do uh, everything through the c++ uh, you can use that but if you are a designer and you don't or know that much about the programming and little bit knowledge if you have blueprint you can create the whole uh, game with the blueprint itself yeah okay so any of these things you can choose it uh, so uh, for a designers for programmers i uh, i think c++ you will feel comfortable for designers this is what it will is much more easier uh, thing which you can do yes so yeah so i'll be uh, going through that and you can just create any kind of template so if i just start with this first person template uh give some name for it first game and just create it all okay. let us start this is the first project which you are creating and uh, you have uh, different elements inside that so as soon as i create the project it will start uh, opening that project loading all the things inside it so i think it is still a uh, loading everything so minimize it will open it now it will start opening that project yeah uh 
so we will see uh, uh, how we can just create uh, BSP models or static models also inside this uh, as we go into the further project. Uh, so we will see how we can model inside uh, Unreal itself. So we will not. Uh, we will. Uh, we can also import the uh, object from other software as well, like Max Blender. But yes. we will see how we can create inside, uh, like blocking uh, stage inside Unreal, and then how we can take that particular blocking to. 3ds max or something and how we can import that actual detail model from there to here so that yes. uh, that process we can just see it so as we go further i'll be just showing you all this uh, process in between sure sir, sure yeah. So. yeah so uh others anything uh anything till now if you have any queries or doubts no sir, nothing. Yeah, sir. So first time it loads because it has to load all the uh, project contents inside it and it will create a lot of uh, different uh, directory structure. Uh, so it will take little bit of time when you start for the first time this all this uh, packaging everything it will do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, once it loads, yeah, so it's loaded. Okay. So this is what we have. This uh, first interface of the uh, project, and we can just see that this is this is like first person template. Uh, if okay. I just hold uh, Alt and right click, I can zoom in. Alt, left click, I can rotate. Alt and left click. Okay. So if I just yes. want to use this, uh, there is something over here called play uh, this level. So if you want to go and click on this play uh, button, so you can also actually check that over here. So if you just want to go for that, see this? Yeah. And uh, it is having all this uh, uh, things which are like static objects which is already there. So some certain things you want to start uh, checking that. And is having that some kind of okay. so you can play around with this or anything you want to uh, click on that. So on the right side you will be seeing that static objects over here. Yes. Okay. So these are all the static mesh over here. So uh, there is if I just click on this outliner, so you'll be able to see what kind of material has been applied to that. So this is the material which has been applied to that particular static objects, and here okay. we can just see. Uh, there is something called content browser and all this thing will be seen in detail uh, over here and what all the objects are there inside the scene uh, it is called actors so if i'm just seeing this this is uh, there is something if you click on that okay these are all uh, called as actors uh, inside this so anything i'm just placing it over here this light is also called as an actor uh, this is the player start where the player has to start everything is called as an actor over here okay. and lights uh, you want to create some kind of shapes and drag and drop it over here so you can just drag and drop any of the shapes just click yeah. drag and drop and if you just try playing that so just click on that and we have all this so it is still there and it, it it will not move anywhere over here so you can see that yes yeah, so uh, since uh, there is some kind of physics which you need to uh, tell that uh, software like uh, we need to apply some kind of gravity or something for this particular object otherwise it remains there only uh, inside this and it doesn't affect whatever the thing i'm doing it right now yeah. so we okay. need to make sure that we have to tell that software like this is having some kind of gravity and all these things uh, when we define that over here so inside this physics uh, if i'm oh. just going i need to tell that it is having similar this physics option so if i just click on that uh, now if i just start playing it will uh, start reacting to that particular uh, object now so if it is off it was doesn't do so okay. gravity is enable but uh, we didn't enable the physics over here so it might not uh, play around that okay so that has to be enabled so when you are doing that so let's see this so click on that let's go over there and now let's try 
uh, doing that or so that's already it is having and it has already fallen down over here yes okay so uh, yeah. we need to make sure that whatever the object i create uh, inside this uh, we need to make sure that uh, uh, certain physics simulation has to be enabled for that suppose if i'm just selecting this also so you need okay. to go for physics and make sure that the simulate physics is on and here we have certain amount of mass also so if it is uh, if i just give very less mass for this and that is the weight of that particular object so if you are starting so every time it is going over there because my player starts from that and this is very light object now okay so uh, once i change the mass it is very light if you start hitting that it is gone somewhere up <laughs> yeah okay. it is gone out of that uh, all <laughs> thing so that's what will happen since uh, uh, there is very less mass for that it is almost one over here so it is almost 1 kg or something it is it is very light inside this so when yeah. i try to hit that it goes off uh, the same uh, so that we can control uh, it over here okay so okay. you can just start adding any kind of objects into the scene you can just start uh, moving it around so if i just move uh, here also so w and left click so when i press w and left click i can just move it over here so you can just see that i am not in the play mode uh, now so when you are play in the play mode you can just uh, click on this play mode and if i just use this w key on my keyboard it works like uh, the same thing uh, but when you are out of this play mode right so uh, now you can just see that so it is over here so if i just click on this, uh, it is very fast it disappear i don't know where it gone so uh, okay so but when you are inside this viewport uh, thing over here so you can also go for this four views so now oh. it is like a uh, 3d software uh, what we have so this is will be the perspective view this is the top this is the right view and this is this so uh, any object you want to create and you want to place it inside this we can just uh, see from that and we can just start placing it suppose if i just select this cube so this is the cube which is over here you want the cube to be placed at a different place so you can see from the top view and it will be much easy for us to place it wherever i want this Yeah. Uh, so, how much height for that you can also see from here. So, uh, from the top view, you are not able to see whether it is on the ground or not. So yeah. that's why we have this right view and back view. So you can see where the floor is, and then you can start adjusting that position of the ba box over here. So if I just click it now, so it will be on the floor. So uh, it is also having uh, different actors, as I said. So if I just maximize this view. this view let's maximize this and we have this different actors over here so uh, where my character has to start so this is the starting point of my character so uh, as soon as i uh, click on this play button this is the position where the character will start suppose if i don't want it, the character to start from here i just want my character to start at a, on the top of this okay okay so i yeah. can place the position of my player at over here and now if i just go and start playing that so now you can just see that where he is standing on oh. the top of this and then you can jump and then you can collect and then you can go okay so uh, yes. that is the player start where you want to uh, keep it suppose if you want the player to start at at a different level over here uh we can just place it at a different level and i can just start at a different places this particular thing uh here or here behind this or here if i just start up in the air so what will happen is as soon as i start the character will fall down like this okay so like as if it is uh, flying from the air and then it will uh, fall down so uh, we can place it wherever i want this player to start or here so this is that player and here uh, also we have lot of things uh, inside the scene you can see the lights uh skylight is there uh, we also have something a directional light inside the scene okay. so these are all the actors inside this uh, particular scene okay so okay. and uh, this is what we call the static mesh all these are static mesh so as soon as you select we have this and there is certain naming conventions you need to follow when you are uh, doing that inside unreal 
so if it is like something like static mesh so it will start with sn underscore okay. chamfer box or uh, whatever it is so if you are bringing any object from outside also uh, like different software or something if you you can just name it if it is static mesh you need to make sure that you name it in that way yes sir okay so this yeah. is what we have this over here so inside this uh, there are different options also so if i just see this is the select mode uh, we yeah. also have landscape uh, mode so where we can see a lot of different tools so i can create certain kind of mountains or landscape over here uh, we can sculpt also so anything you want to sculpt it you have this options over it so when i'm going to the landscape mode i'll be just showing you all these things so how to create certain landscape certain mountains over here yeah so that mode is over here we also have foliage mode so if you want to add some kind of uh, foliage over here we can bring it from this Okay, so these are the different uh, modes which you can work on. So if you are working on modeling, you can just click on this modeling mode, and I have a lot of modeling tools uh, like primitives. So these are all the primitives which you can use for modeling. So here, uh, if you want to extrude or something you want to do uh, using the polygons, we have this uh, options over here. So these are all for the modeling tools. So if you want to model some kind of uh, uh, things inside uh, Unreal only. you can make the use of this uh, kind of modeling tools over here so if you want to add some kind of stairs just add that stairs okay. and just click it so once you click on click on add this and click on this complete option until you don't use that it will keep on doing now you can just place it arrange it where you want as uh, object the suppose if i want my object over here and then you play it and then you want to go for this stairs yeah and here you need to jump on that plus cool okay so it is yes. like, yeah so it is uh, so anything you can you can just model it and it uh, th this template will have uh, by default it will create that static uh, option over here so any other things you want to load it uh, you can also load through that mode over here so once you add it you can just go for different modes and you can just see it all okay. yeah so uh, each and everything will uh, see it uh, how to build the uh, different tools uh, over here uh, so if you want to build a level how we can just build a level uh, so for everything we need to build it over here uh, if you are doing adding something inside this uh, but uh, like texture you have added uh, so to update or you are doing some kind of lighting over there So you need to do something called build over here. So otherwise it will not display that thing inside the scene. Even though you have done the lighting until and unless I build that, it will not uh, show up over here inside the scene. So we need to make sure it is like same like baking what we do. So uh, you need to build for uh, things over here. Okay. Mm. So that yeah. is that one thing we uh, we need to keep in mind when we are doing it. So yeah, so this is what I will be starting. Uh, so uh, I'll be taking uh, another uh, sessions uh, on this. So today's session, if you have any doubts, you can just ask. So I want you to install that software, and uh, we'll be working side by side. If you haven't installed that, so let's try this. Yeah. Uh, so tomorrow we'll be working on uh, actual uh, geometry uh, project interface and other thing. Sure, sir. Yeah. So, yeah. anything, any doubts you have inside this for today's session? If you have, no, sir, nothing. Sir. Nothing. Yeah. So, uh, it's just to us the intro of uh, this uh, Unreal today. So, we we if you want to import anything from here, which is outside, uh, we can also import. So, these are the things which you can uh, import a VX mesh, all this. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. And when you create any kind of project, uh, it will create this multiple folders for you. uh so first person project is there and it is having lot of folders for it and you need to make sure that you uh, keep your content inside that particular folder so if i am just going over here you can just see the starter content and inside that you have multiple folders over here okay so if you just mm -hmm. go for the shapes here you have basic shapes over here so if i go for the props here you have you can see what all the materials which you can see it inside that here you have maps so these are the different materials inside this content browser which we have 
Okay. Different maps, HDRI, uh, and you have these different blueprints which you can add it inside the scene. Uh, suppose if you want to add this uh, blueprint spark, so if you just want to drag and drop it over here, so it will have that spark effect over here. Okay. So if you want to add something, uh, this is like already pre-made blueprints and we have this fire effect. So if you just want to add it inside the scene and now if you want to play it. And it will have that audio also with this. Okay. Yeah. And there is some kind of spark which is already there and if you just go to this point you have this spark. Okay, so okay. these are certain blueprints which you can directly drag and drop over here. So uh, we can see that. So if you want to use explosion. Let's drag and drop this explosion, place it wherever you want to add and we have this explosion which will be inside this and uh, this symbol indicates that there is audio also inside that particular blueprint. So when you are okay. playing the game, uh, so this is also having the audio also, so if I just play that, it has that blast uh, audio as well. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I think it's already worked. Uh, Sir, I have one doubt here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you said uh, those are all basic shapes, right? Uh, suppose if we delete by means, if we delete some of the shapes, hmm. can't we retrieve that shapes again? Uh, if you delete, uh, you can have a duplicate copy of that or undo control Z if you by mistake if you are deleting. But if you are deleting undo history, you can just get back and you can see that over here. So okay. what are the things you have deleted and you want to undo that, you can just undo that over here. So inside this. Okay. So sure. any of this sure. thing? Yeah. yeah. So or control Z. If you are done for only once, you can do it or you have to go to this edit and what are the things you want to redo that. Uh, you can always redo it. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, so there is different duplicates is control D. Uh, you can just duplicate any of the object inside this or you can also hold alt and left click and drag it. Okay. Yeah. So just hold alt, uh, keep on dragging it, how much, how many box you want inside this particular scene. So you can just okay. start adding it. Uh, so with this basic, uh, whatever the building contents are there, so what I want you to do is you can just open any of the projects and with this basic contents only you can just try uh, creating some kind of this environment over here. So if it is like this environment. So I don't yes. need this one. So with only the blue boxes, you can just select all this and start deleting. So if you want to create stairs, we can create uh, using this uh, itself. Sure. Okay. So just yeah. a basic uh, play, uh, you can just start with first shooter game and uh, you can just go through that. Any of this, uh, you can, if you want to add some kind of fire elements on the top of it also, you just start adding that. And here you can just play around this. So uh, if you just want to go through that, uh, the shortcut for that into the play mode is Alt P. Okay. Alt P, when I click, it will go to the game mode and escape uh, will bring back me into this work work area mode. So you can just see it. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we will be learning how to create this whole uh, environment also. Everything using this uh, cube and all these static elements. Uh, tomorrow I'll be showing you how we can build that whole thing with a totally blank uh, scene over here. Okay? So, okay. Yeah, so for now we can just start with this uh, particular project. You just go through that, uh, get familiar with this and uh, then tomorrow we can just start with it. So today I think you should be installing uh, all this software. Just go yeah. through that and different different templates you check it today. Uh, so if again if I just want to start with something, you can just go for new level and we can just see that. So these are the levels uh, which you can go with. So if you want to go with empty level, you can create an empty level. Or you can also start with a uh, new project over here. So if I go to the new project, there you okay. find different templates. So uh, here we have new level option and new uh, project option. So inside project there can be multiple levels. right? So yeah. uh, like game level 1 will be there, game level 2 will be there. So these are the this is the project and okay. inside that you can create multiple levels so if you are working for virtual production here we have this for virtual production for yeah. architecture for this and there are certain simulation for the car also so if you go to the game 
and here we have something for the car simulation so you can just start with this empty and then you can create this whole uh, car game uh, over here so this is the template for car uh, simulation game so if you want to create something like uh, the car is moving and there are a lot of points it has to collect so some kind of coins are there when it touches that coins uh, you get some points over here so that kind of game if you want to do it you can you have this nice template for that so car okay. will be keep on moving and you keep on collecting the uh, coins and your score increases over there so that is like basic game uh, more complicated you can have multiple cars inside the scene and so this is one template which you can start for car uh, if it is first person this is first person game template third person game template is also over here okay. okay so where you see that actual character inside the scene and here we won't see that character so and we also have the vr virtual reality so if you want to check that how it works so here also we have this virtual reality uh, template so you can just start opening and just try uh, checking over there so today you just check different types of templates so you create a blank template you create a first person template third person template and just check it how uh, the thing works inside it okay, okay. Uh, yes sir yeah so yeah for today i think it will be uh, enough and tomorrow i'll be just starting with this polygon uh, modeling or inside this so yeah so anything anything you have doubts or anything inside this can you just ask till now hmm no sir nothing nothing fun uh others others are there no one is there darshan aditya yeah No yes. sir, I have no doubts. Yeah. No doubts. So no, sure. No. Yeah, I am clear. Yeah. So, okay. So let's start uh, creating this. Uh, we'll meet in next class tomorrow. So, mm -hmm. uh, just get familiar with this uh, thing, and then we'll start with the modeling part. Okay. Sure, sir. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So see you tomorrow. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you, sir. Thank you for coming. <laughs> you are yeah, doing yeah. like after office. It is. I know it is very difficult to uh, attend <laughs> the classes. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah.